you're looking at a 1500 watt low frequency solar inverter charger by Ames Power and it accepts 12 volts of DC that's direct current electricity and transforms it into 120 volts of AC that's alternating current electricity and you can see the inverters positive and negative DC terminals here which again connect to a 12 volt battery bank and we recommend using 4 gauge cabling when making this connection as you can see on the bottom left hand corner of the DC side of this inverter there are switches SW1, 2, and 3. SW1 changes the low battery voltage trip point, SW2 changes the AC input range, and SW3 changes the frequency at which a load is sensed in power save mode. We'll refer you to the user manual for more information on these features. There is also a port on the DC side of the unit for an optional remote and another SW switch, the fourth one, that will allow you to switch between AC and battery priority modes. And switching over to the AC side of this unit, we're going to take a look at the direct connect terminal block, which is one of the more sought after features that this inverter has. And this will allow you to connect to shore power from an AC source, such as a generator, or from your house. And this is the way that you'll charge your battery bank. And the terminal block also has AC output capabilities, which will allow you to bypass the 1500 watt limit of the GFCI plugs on this unit. The direct connect terminal block on this unit also allows for what's called an uninterrupted power supply, which in the event of a power outage will allow you to keep all your appliances running without any interruption. This unit is equipped with one GFCI plug that has two outlets and a maximum output of 1500 watts. Taking a look at the top of the unit, this is where you'll find the on-off switch, power save mode, and the battery type selector. And this concludes our video for the 1500 watt low frequency solar inverter charger by Ames Power. Mm -hmm.